What's up everyone? This is Saint Sonic 91 back once again for a new Let's Play for you all. Let's play Banjo Kazooie. And yes, I know that this game has been done to death. But hey, it's not like anything I've done before hasn't been done to death. I mean come on. So yeah, I'll be playing the 360 version, as I do not have the original cart. Also, it looks a bit prettier. And let's just go over the option for the 360 version to play the actual game, leaderboards, achievements, I've got them all. Help in options and return to arcade, just go back to your game selection. We're going to play the, the, obviously the game, and yes I'll be going for 100% and all the notes and such. Please take note that I've only played this game once, but it's very easy to get into and very easy to... Uh, explore all the areas and wreck your head around what you need to do to get all the J's, the stars of the game, if you will. Here we have game one, game two, and game three. Yes, how nice of them not to take out the Game Boy, because this was originally on the Nintendo 64 and now it's owned by Microsoft, so I guess they couldn't add anything else in, so we'll just use game two. And I won't be talking over the introduction to the game, so enjoy. Ha 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 
And ladies and gentlemen, that is the intro to the game! Yeah, you're not saving any princesses or anything of that sort in this game. You're actually out to save your very own sister, Miss Tootie. Here is Banjo, here's our main character. Pretty nice character. Every character in the game has their own little gimmicks inside it. And believe it or not, when I first played the game, I thought Kazooie was in fact a guy, when in fact Kazooie is, is female, so... <laughs> that was kind of dumb on my part, but then I was like, what, 12 or 11 at the time? And this is Bottles, he's pretty much going to be our guide throughout the game, telling us what we can do, and then teach us some new moves. And Kazooie is always the, the sarcastic and rude type, always with something nasty to say. But hey, she's on our side, she's here to save the day, alongside Banjo, who sounds like a yokel, of course. And if you want to skip the dialogue, you can just hold down the A button. And that's where the entire game will take place, inside uh, Gruntilda's lair. Gruntilda being the witch, the green-skinned witch that you've seen throughout the opening cutscene. Who really hasn't seen this game before? I mean, it's been done to death. And just for the hell of it, I'm going to decline training because I can explain it faster and better than Bottles can. And we get all our moves from the start. To attack, you press the X button to, while standing to do our normal, like, combo attack. Jump in the air and press A to do a flutter jump. Press A and uh, attack in the air for Kazooie's right attack tap. And press the attack button while walking to do a roll. And we can attack this carrot. And our health is represented by the honeycombs. The tasty honey energy. And there are plenty of collectibles in this game. Like I said, I'll be going for 100%, so I'll be going for all of them. Yellow flower. And what that means is includes these things, which are called empty honeycomb pieces. Collect six and you get another piece of energy. And yes, everything has eyes in this game, Jesus. Uh, hold down either left trigger or right trigger, doesn't matter which. Then press the X button for a better ram type of attack. It's to smash rocks. Yeah, what they definitely changed about this game, I think they did for the better because the whole C button thing was kind of annoying, in my opinion. There's six in this opening, uh, the starting area, which is called Spiral Mountain. Push X to dive into the water. And they're quite easy to get if you look around hard enough. They're basically all in places where you, you test your abilities out. Simple as that. Some are a bit out of range or out of sight, I should say. And you use the right analog stick to control the camera, like you do with most games. And also, if you do the, the crouching move, left or right trigger, and do the A button, you can do a high jump. Now, uh, what I'm going to do with this uh, LP is try to keep it under like 20 minutes of video so I don't do it like I did with Phoenix Wright. I honestly don't want anything like that again. Not anything that convoluted and long. I ran for like 21 hours. And there's a honeycomb in this tree, so let's grab it. And there's only one more to get, so let's go after it. And as you've noticed during the opening cutscene, I know I'm referencing that quite a bit, every character has their own little bit of speech that they go through. It's like weird, weird noises that they do. But let's pick up the final three piece of this area. Yeah, this area has six when all the other worlds in the game have two. And that'll give us our six energy piece. And over in this cave, we get a little golden statue. Those are extra lives. Look out for me! I'm an extra life! Don't know why I would have that kind of voice, but okay. Also, I forgot to show off another move. Or, nope. 
you get in the next world, excuse me. I'm gonna jump in the gun here, but oh well. But my memories with this game are kind of obscure since I never really played it all that much before. I just like watch watch people play it a lot, like NCS and uh, I think Chicken Fajita. But I think that's about it. I've only seen two people play it. I know. I'm so bad for not looking at other people. Excuse me. Yeah, we are. We're ready to take her on. Red Ender Gratilda's Lair. Watch out for me inside. Oh, there's gonna be so many goddamn collectibles. It's gonna be ridiculous. It's gonna take a while, but I'm not doing it more than 20 minutes at a time. Just keeping that simple. Let's go. Trust me, that that transformation scene is gonna take a while. There he is, the fun begins. With my tricks and traps will see me we'll see who wins. And here's our main collectible of the game, Jiggies. Jigsaw puzzle pieces. Hey, it's me, Mr. Jiggy. So I go and find a picture with the piece missing. There's a hundred pieces in the entire game, you do not need to collect them all if you wish. Uh, you need to collect them all to get all the secrets in the game, but if you want the secret ending, you do need to collect them all. So, that's just for a little extra stuff. And the main point with these jiggies is to put them into a puzzle that's missing a piece. This will open up the other worlds. With the world shown in the picture, you must complete it in the missing spaces with the jigsaw pieces. And we've only got one piece, so let's fit in the space where it belongs. And yes, all the jiggies look like that. None are different. I'm expecting a little bit of you know, variety with the jigsaw pieces, but they all look like that. When the first world opens, Mumbo's mountain. Of course it was easy. It's the first world for Christ's sake. Alright, first world Mumbo's Mountain. Three new moves to learn in this world. And luckily you don't need anything special to learn them, you just need to find the uh, bottles. And here's another collectible, Jinjo! Please save me! Gruntilda is imprisoned. Five of us in each world. Free us all to get a jiggy. And also, we got notes. Notes be important later when we actually finish the level, but right now we can just, you know, collect them and see where it takes us. I'm a note, one of a hundred on each level. Collect us to open up the note doors. Well, thanks for spoiling Mr. Note. I noticed that none of them really have eyes until they just show up right on your little screen. So, consistency, where is it? So yes, there are 100 notes in each level, but with each level, the difficulty will spike and they become increasingly harder and harder to find. So don't expect them to just fall into your lap, is what I'm saying. <laughs> These guys are, they look like little trolls or whatever. Here we got <laughs> another collectible, a Mumbo Token. You need these to have Mumbo Jumbo, the shaman, to transform you. Luckily, in this world, there's only five tokens, and they're not that hard to find. So far, everything seems to be pretty damn well. Get rid of the bull. This bull enemy just attack him twice. In, in consecutive hits. Break this to get three honeycomb pieces. I guess you can take him down. Jeez. And he looks. <laughs> 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 With Orges! 
Yeah, you can play my stream, take his orange away. That Congo's orange. Put it back. Yeah, orange are nice. And you have to get Kanga to kind of hit the switches. Basically, you just stand him for a little bit, and then he hits he hits uh, where you just were. Hit them all to get a jiggy. Yeah, it's that kind of logic in this game. Where pretty much almost everything you do will get you a jiggy. And well, you know, it leads right on to me. Then there's ten jiggies on each world. When you're ready to leave this world, to return to the start area and stand on the exit. But we're not going to do that, we're going to continue on. And we give this orange to this chimp. And believe it or not, they use the same exact voice clips for, I believe, DK and for Diddy from this game. To use a DK64. And he gives us yet another J. This world's incredibly small, but it makes sense since it's the first level on all. Blah, blah, blah. Simple. These are eggs. And Bob's going to tell us about the eggs. Right now. Time for the buzzer to learn the ancient ways of the egg. I'm listening, beetle breath. Hold the right or left trigger. Press Y to shoot an egg out of your mouth. Sure. Press B instead, and you can shoot them out from behind. Sounds painful. Yeah, I never, th I never thought to think that uh, Kazooie would be a female because only females can lay eggs. But since it's not really laying eggs, it's just shooting them out of her ass. And he gives us 50 to start with. And he also fills up with our energy if we're low on it. Quickly jump over here and grab on another Mumbo token. And go over here. And fall off. Thank you very much. Well, I don't think we can use that technique yet. We need to find another of uh, Bottle's pads. Be safe here. Bear can't hit Conga. Oh, yeah. Take that. Jump to avoid the oranges. And he's gonna shoot out two. One, two, and hit three. He gives up another chicken. Bear me, Kaka. He can get pressed up there. So you can get three jiggies from this one area. That is just handing them out. Yoink. And yes, because we will always eat the damn thing. God knows why. I wouldn't want to find out what they taste like. Like just like like damp metal. It's a bit slippy, huh? Find me, and I'll teach you how to get up steep slopes. Well, we'll just take this way first. The technique he's talking about is what pretty much all speedrunners will abide by when they're talking about this game. It makes the game so much faster. Because Banjo, God help him, he's too damn slow to move. And there's some eggs over there, and a Jiggy just sitting out in the open. Sweet Jesus. And there is Bowles, and he'll teach us the move. The talent trot will let Kazooie tackle steep slopes with ease. So in other words, Kazooie does the running. Not only is she faster, but she can take care of the slopes. And just hold both the triggers to, to bring her out. The problem is, Kazooie's voice is really, really annoying. That's the main thing. So if you're doing this with the volume down, you got nothing to worry about. And then again, you miss out on all the good music. Jinjo, so we only got two more to find. Another Mumbo token. And let's see, where does that leave us? I think that's good for now, so... Next time, and let's play Banjo-Kazooie! We'll find the rest of the notes and maybe get finished up at this level. So, I'll see you guys for more Mumbo's Mountain. Damn it, Banjo. You never be as good as Kazooie. Sad, I know. Alright, see you guys later.